Hello, my name is Yazil, and in this night shift, we want to start our character controller. So we're gonna go with part five. So um, in detail for today, it is we get our player fitted with a rigid body and with a capture collider. And while we are on it, yeah, you saw right, our Uma is blinking and moving the eyes. Also, we want to um, clear a bug I found. It's, um, I show you in the moment our player is logged on. Um, I open a client. Ah, well, play, there it is. Three, three, login. And uh, if we move the player, it's of course until we move here. We see them both. But if we close this, and open it again. There it comes. Sorry about the slowness, uh, it's because I'm recording. 3-3 three, three again. And you see we get an exception caught here. Uh, it means we still want to grab uh, our player others. Uh, and use it, but we destroyed it. So that's the first part we want to get rid of this error. Uh, okay. Um, going on to our player others. Uh, no, we start with our player. Here in this part, um, we receive from our player disconnected on player disconnect from dark from the, from the dark rift API API, um, we going and destroy this game object. And when we destroy that, we go on player and see in player. Now oh, I play our others. Uh, we are still connected to on data detail. And so we have to add this one also to on player disconnected. So if player other is disconnected, we get rid of the uh, data receive. And also we get rid of the player disconnected. And for that to work uh, for sure, we have to wait a sec before we destroy the game object so we have to go in player others again and make sure you got here the variable uh, on the time when it will be destroyed uh, to set like dot five or dot eight or whatever we had the dot one in there uh, and dot one is definitely too short if you uh, for example uh, get a bit lag or something like that Okay, that's the bug. It's out of the way. And now we go to our player. Since we want to have our Yuma uh, added with an, um, with an rigid body and uh, with a capture collider, so we can start programming an, an controller. Uh, we bind ourselves until or when the Yuma is uh, short before getting updated uh, to our function which is uh, uh, supported from Yuma and the function is on crea character created. So when the character created is, uh, we um, um, going to um, open the function character ready callback and this is this function 
and let me show you what we are going to do. Uh, let me open Unity again. In Unity, we get under uh, Humor Content, Humanoids, um, um, not Expressions, it's, uh, let me see, Slots, additional slots. There we got a capture collider slot and an uh, expression for arm twist and locomotion. We use the bows here, and so you get these slots, these and these slot into your slot library, which you remember is the Yuma prefab we had before. Let's um, change the scene. Going to start and going here, Yuma slot library, and there you have to add it. There they are. And um, there are a couple scripts on it. Um, it's the capture collider script and uh, the expression slot. Um, so Let's go to our character already callback in our player and we see if this event is called. Uh, it will be transferred with the Yuma data and we make us ourselves a variable which is underscore expression set and um, we fill it with the race data dot expression set. So in the race data, there is an expression set already. And then we're gonna make a public uh, expression player. For that to work, so here you see all my expression player, expression player. Uh, for that to work, you have to add a namespace in its yuma dot post tools. So you need Yuma.post tools for the Yuma expression player class. And then we're going to add the Numa expression player to our game object Uma data. And then we fill the expression player dot expression set with our expression set we found in our uh, race data. Then we say or tell the expression player that the Yuma data is our Yuma data and then we analyze that. And then we're gonna say the expression player dot uh, enable blinking and uh, saccade is for uh, where he looks. And after that we have a capture collider slot script I called it my CC and I added the game object to our UMA data. After that, we use the function which is in the capture collider slot script. We open that, and here you can see we set up uh, the rigid body and the capture collider. Um, also, we freeze the rotation so our character is not. Uh, uh, turning around and we get from our UMA data the character mass and uh, then we set the uh, radius and the height of the capture collider and the center we set to basically half of the uh, height and we uh, adjust that a little bit with a uh, fixed value and that's basically all you need to do for having the character blinking, uh, looking around, and having a rigid body and a capture collider. So to make that complete, you of course have to add that to player others also. So in players or player others, you also have to. Uh, add the UMA post tools, the 
Uma expression player variable, the um, function where you bind yourself to the event, and the function you call, and uh, doing the stuff for uh, the expression player and the capture collider. Well, as I told you, it's always the same for player other and player, and uh, it's just in the moment for being uh, sure that we got uh, that easier on learning. I still don't know if we uh, have that uh, in two um, C sharp scripts, uh, but for now it's just two uh, scripts and we just do the double work um, since we don't know if we. Uh, add something to the other player um, which we don't have on the player and so we don't have to, to make it different all the time here and start the game uh, to to login and if we go to our player we can see there is the expression player, the capture collider, and the rigid body. Let's look here for a sec. We're gonna key that. There is our character, and there is the expression player. Um, for example, if we get them here, and you can do stuff like that, and this one and whatever head up and down and again not the neck or let him speak or something like that uh, nice is this one <laughs> so Yeah, well, that's it for today. Uh, it's a short one, but I thought it's important to uh, bug fix the error I found. And while that was too short, I added the expression uh, and the uh, uh, capture collider and rigid body to the video. So let's start off part five. If you had fun, just uh, leave me a like. Um, if you want to follow the series, I would more than happy to get a subscribe from you and yeah, well, happy night shift.